Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 812. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Here's the situation. Karen at Highline Community College, where I work, uh, has this data dump. So she gets a data dump. And it's got all the districts, the schools, and then this category within each school, and then students. And then there's a she has a bunch of columns. I just put two columns here. She needs to summarize these this data by student by district. Now here's what the end result will look like. She needs a sheet that shows the Auburn district and then within Auburn district there's school 1, school 2, school 3. Within each school she needs to show this H1 and H2 category and then list the student names, show the actual raw data and then summarize and all she needed to add. Now she had a bunch of columns here. Right, so the bottom line is someone reading this report can go, oh, in, in Auburn School 1, H1, the total credits are, and then they can go up and look at the data. Now, normally you can't display data in a pivot table like this. However, in this column, there are no duplicates. So you can use the pivot table to do this. Now I'm going to go, you see how Highline, Renton, Auburn, or for, somehow we have to create individual sheets for each one of these with all the summarized statistics. Let's go back over here. So we need a Highline sheet, right? There's the District of Renton. Now, this looks hard, but it is unbelievably easy. Uh, your data has to be in a formal data set. Field names at the top, blanks all the way around, or column headers and row headers. Once you have that, you click on a single cell. You go up to Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, Alt-NVT. Alt NVT. If your data is set up correctly, you have your dancing ants dancing around the data set. New sheet, I'm going to click OK. Now the cool thing about pivot tables is it knows all of the field names. And what we want to do in order to get all those individual sheets, you have to have this report filter. So I'm going to drag the district down here. Now notice it says all right here, and that's funny. But later, we're going to build our pivot table. And we're going to just click on a single button. And it will know, since it says all there, it shows all the data. But because this district is dropped in the report filter, when we click this button, it'll create all those sheets automatically. Now, we need school in the row labels. <coughs> and you drag the second criteria below school. Wow, pivot tables are so awesome. I'm all chucked up, choked up. Now you can see right here, we have school one, we have a bunch of schools. Now, normally you'd see a huge list here. I just created some simple ones here. But you got that, and then you drop the student name. Now you can see there's lots of students' name, but once we filter it down using this report filter, um, we'll see just a few. Now, here's the values area. The rows labels where we dropped our fields. The report filter gives us that special individual sheets. But this is where you put your values. So whatever field has the numbers or whatever calculation you want to do, you simply drag it down here. All right, so we have this is our overall report. Now I'm going to close this field list here. Pivot tables options, you can always show it there or right click and then show your um, field list here. But here's the trick. Oh, before we do this trick, this is kind of a silly layout. This is the default layout in 2007 and 10. So you should always go up to Design, uh, Report Layout, and then Show in Tabular Form. All right, so that's just nice. Now, some people might like the default settings in 2007 and 10, but most, well, and the, if you don't like them, then you do that. Report Layout, Tabular. All right, so now here's the big trick, and it's so easy. I want you to look down here. Here's our original data dump sheet. I'm actually going to double click this and call it main pivot PT for pivot table. What's going to happen is once I click this button, here's the page filter or report filter up here. Here's a little short list, but in the Karen's report, there's a huge list, which so it would create a lot of sheets. But as long as you have this dropped in this place here, it'll automatically create a sheet for each one of these. I'm going to click Cancel. And they'll show up always to the left of where your pivot table is. So I'll go up to Options, Pivot Table Options, and then Show Report Filter Pages. Now I do have a few other videos at YouTube that show this, but they were all in earlier versions. So this is a, a good one here. It's just amazing. You click and watch what happens. Before I click it, watch down here. So I'm ready. Click. 
oh, I forgot. There's this. You might have more than one uh, field dropped into the report filter, but once you select the one, you click OK, and bloop, instantly it creates all of these reports. Now you might want to go in and change these, like highlight right there, that's select all, and then double click to fit all the columns. I bet you I could do all of these at the same time. I want to do all the way to Seattle, so I'm going to hold the sh that sheet is selected. I'm going to hold Shift, click on the last sheet. You can see they're all white. That means they're all, whatever I do now happens to all the sheets. I'm going to select all and then double click. Now be sure to come down here and either click on a sheet to deselect them or right click ungroup. And now when I go to each sheet, they're all perfectly fit. All right, now the last thing. Karen wanted to do, she wanted to send these each to an individual workbook so she could email them. You go to the Sheet tab, right click, move or copy, even though I think there should be a move and a copy. They have them combined, they always have. I'm going to click this. I'm going to be sure and select that. The sheet I want is that. And up here it says, to what book? Well, I'm going to click the drop down and say, hey, send it to a new workbook. It'll copy it send it to a new workbook. Okay. Now I'm in this new sheet here. You can see up here it says book two. That's a terrible name. I'm going to close the field name. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for save as F12. And then I'm going to call it Auburn. I'm such a terrible typer, Auburn. Click OK. Now I'm going to go back to that other workbook and then do the same thing. Right click, move or copy. A copy. I don't know how to do this automatically. I guess you could do it with VBA code. I don't know how to write VBA code, but I'm going to do it. <clears throat> At least the first part was quick. Book three, not a good name. I F12, and I'm going to call this one, oh, I forget what it is. Oh, Highline. So F12, Highline. All right, so Alt Tab. Alt Tab is the keyboard shortcut to jump between. Uh, your open windows. All right, so that was a little bit about taking a data dump, creating a pivot table using that awesome report filter up here, and then that amazing pivot tables options show report filter to create all those sheet tabs. All right, see you next video.